Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. I am starting a new series on the channel called Side Job Saturdays. And it's kind of a way that I could just get these like little repair projects out to people and maybe it'll help them, maybe they find entertainment from it. It's not like big builds like I'm doing with the buggy or like some of the equipment I'm fixing. This is just like quick fixes that have to get done that I have to do anyway. It's like, why not film them? So we'll call it Side Job Saturdays. I'll release them at like 10 a.m. Eastern time on Saturday mornings and maybe it'll be once a month, maybe it'll be four times a month. I have no idea. First topic of Side Job Saturday is going to be my trusty Makita grinder. Take a listen to this. She's pissed off. She's had a tough life. I bought this thing at a thrift shop like eight years ago, and this is my number one trusty tool. I beat the crap out of this thing. It owes me nothing, but I'm not just gonna throw it away. Let's fix it right. Let's get it going again. I'll get another eight to 10 years out of it. Don't know if that plays over to the camera well, but I can feel a ton of slop in here. It looks like the ring and pinion in this thing. Yeah, looks like the ring and pinion in this is spent. So let's pull it apart, get some parts on order. Okay, so we got some pretty substantial damage to the main gear here. You can see we have numerous teeth blown off and just a lot of wear. She's pretty torn up. The pinion gear, even worse. That thing's just about toast. Guess we'll pull off the front housing here. See if we can get to that pinion gear a little better. I feel like a welder and an angle grinder is the staple of the, you know, American workshop. There's nothing you can't fix with an angle grinder and a welder. Oh yeah, look at that. <clears throat> She's torqued. Through the magic of the internet, the parts are here already. Wow. We got a bearing, brushes, I don't know what that is, a snap ring, and the main bevel gear. So I got all the parts from ereplacementparts.com. They make, they sell parts for everything. Weed whackers, everything that's got a serial number, that's a piece of equipment you can get parts for. And there is a brand new ring gear. Looks awesome. This will probably be the pinion gear then. Look at that. Beautiful, love to see it. Bearing, and then some new brushes as well. We'll put them in later. Clip, thrust washer. That gear just comes right off. Now I chose not to replace this bottom bearing and it's probably one of the most important bearings in the grinder, but I didn't like the price online. I think it was like almost 20 bucks. It is a 6201DW made by NSK. Pretty standard bearing. You can get that at a bearing shop much cheaper. So because this one wasn't bad, I'm not gonna go ahead and replace it. But if yours is bad, there's the part number for you. Just drop our new gear on. Fits over the key, nice thrust washer. I'm gonna put our new clip on just to make everybody feel warm and fuzzy. That all looks good. We're gonna drop a new bearing on here. Tap it on with a plastic handle because it's just a little boy. Just a little bearing. We'll find out real quick if it's backwards thread or not. All right, reg regular thread. Look at that, just comes right off. Oh, it's just totally held on by its own torque. One on the right's gonna work a lot better, run a lot quieter. I'm just gonna hit it full speed and get a little torque on her. I think the self-tightening aspect of that will be enough. We'll see, learn from my mistakes. Quick tidbit, if you've ever wondered what this button actually does to lock the grinder to pull the wheel off, well, it just protrudes this pin right here. And that pin drops right into the top of one of these three depressions in the casting on the main ring gear. So that's why it only grabs three times per revolution. Now you know.
it's super important to clean this out entirely because look, there's entire metal teeth from the old gears lodged up in that old grease. So this has to be spotless before we put fresh grease in here and start over. There's another big tooth right there. Okay, this looks good. All the old grease, particulate, everything out of there. We're starting fresh. For the gears on this, I'm gonna run Mobile, Mobile Lux EP2. It's a lithium-based grease. I use this in other gear equipment and have had pretty good results, like my Bridgeport Mill. I pack that with this. It's all pretty happy, sounding and feeling good. Now, before you install your main cartridge, give this O-ring a peek. This O-ring's important because it's not only to keep grease in, but it keeps the crap out. I'm gonna just start my finger and just get a bunch in here. I'd rather there be too much grease than too little. Because this, this lubrication literally lasts the life of the grinder. Now, if you have one that's got a lot of age on it and it hasn't crapped the gears out yet, might be worth uh, pulling it apart and cleaning it out and re-greasing it. You might get more life out of those gears, I don't know. A Little bit of grease squeezing out, I'm not too worried about. It's gonna squeeze out once, but it'll make space. See how she sounds, watch your eyes. Wow. That's crazy. I don't think this thing has ever sounded that way. So smooth. So I can feel that this is getting actually hot. So I want to pull this apart and relieve it of any grease pressure. Because we probably did over grease, but I'd rather over grease than under grease. She don't look bad. No way, wow. Look at that. Years of use. And we've gone through maybe a quarter of the brush length. So that's really impressive. That's awesome to know. So these will go back in the box and I'll hang them up here with my grinder accessories for another day, another lifetime maybe. That's all it takes guys. A couple parts from eReplacementParts.com. I'm not sponsored by them. It's just a company that I find has you know, pretty quick shipping, good parts diagrams, acceptable prices, nothing really to write home about, but they get the job done. I think this whole thing was under $30 to fix this grinder. Uh, you just need a couple screwdrivers, pliers and snap ring pliers and a vise, and you could do this job. Anybody can do it. The way the future is going, you got to be able to fix stuff. You're going to have a bad time or you're just gonna be broke, one of the two. So anyway, thanks for watching Spank Ranch Garage. Thanks for tuning in to the first Side Job Saturday, and I'll see you next Saturday.